Meet the adorable tiny pups serving on Japan's canine police. The police force has become a lot stronger since the addition of canine police. Police dogs, more popularly known as the canine police unit, are trained to take down criminals, literally, detect contraband or any illegal substance by sniffing, track down missing persons, and a whole bunch more. When you think about police dogs, you probably have German Shepherds, Belgian Malinois, Bloodhounds, Rottweilers, Labradors, and Beagles in mind. These dogs are huge in general and could be intimidating and physically strong, thus making them perfect as police dogs. Actually, there's a long list of other dogs that would qualify as canine police, but when choosing a perfect furry law enforcer, you wouldn't actually think about small dog breeds, would you? Truth be told, usually tiny dogs, also known as toy dogs or lap dogs, are just perfect as hand carry dogs. Japan, however, decided to break the norm. Thinking of the formidable police force of Japan, you'd be surprised to know that they accept small dog breeds into their law enforcement team. More surprising, they've been doing it for over two decades and even longer. Nearly a decade ago, a toy poodle named Hannah was one of the most notable additions to Japan's canine unit. She joined the police force in the western Japanese city of Okayama. Just like the rest of the dogs who wanted to join the police department, Hannah underwent a series of tests to prove her worth as canine police. In fact, she wasn't alone. Along with other small police dogs, Hannah was tasked to sniff out explosives, contraband, and search operations related to missing persons. Proving the Doubters Wrong Small dog breeds were given chances to take canine police examinations there. They've proven to people that they can also be on par with big dog breeds in the force. However, most small canine police are only trained and used as sniffer dogs, since they don't possess the strength needed to perform other police dog duties. Also, it's also believed that small dogs have a short attention span that's only half the focus of what larger dog breeds have. Small dogs could be easily distracted, and it's something that wouldn't work once they start working with the police department. They're also easily scared and intimidated by the larger dogs. But despite all these, there are plenty of small dogs who have proven that size doesn't matter in the police team. Mochi Here's another toy poodle who passed his exams and became the first ever sniffer canine in Japan's Kyoto Prefecture. He was the police department's best pick when it came to searching for illegal drugs and explosives. Before he even became a police dog, he'd already been working as a certified therapy dog. In an interview with ABC News, Naomi Yasuda's owner said, Mochi has always been at the top of his class in training school. I just wanted to find a way for him to help others. In fact, the world's smallest police dog was a rat terrier chihuahua named Midge. She worked side by side with the Geauga County Sheriff, Dan McClellan, for 16 years. Midge's size wasn't an issue because she was a mighty police dog. She's a certified narcotics dog. Midge's size was actually an advantage in penetrating the outskirts of Cleveland, Ohio. Sadly, Sheriff Dan McClellan and Midge's story took an unexpected turn when the former succumbed to cancer. At their home, Midge also crossed the Rainbow Bridge. They passed away on the same day. It only proves that size doesn't dictate or limit a dog's purpose in the police force. All dogs can contribute something big in their own little ways. Please share this with your friends and family.